hi everyone and welcome in this video we will see how we can connect our lab view with opc us server okay so here i have my process opc us simulation server i want to read the tag value of opc us simulation server in the lab view so in this video we will see how you can do that okay so if you go to address space then you can see here i have some tag in the simulation folder constant counter and random sort of i have some tags okay i want to read the tag value in the lab view so how can we do that okay so first of all we will open ua expert uh, which is opc ua client to read the data okay so we will see how we can read the data in the ua expert and then we will read the same data in the lab view so here i can click on this plus icon to connect with uh, opc ua server and uh, yeah here i have already process opc your simulation server configure so i can double click and then i can connect now in the simulation i have this tag so constant counter random sawtooth sinusoid square and triangle you can see the values right now i want to read the same value in the lab view so here is my lab view project now you have to specify the opc us server endpoint url here which you can find here in the process opc us simulation server on the status tab you can find the endpoint url here you have to copy and then you have to paste it here after that uh, you have to set your security policy and the message mode for me the message mode is none and the security policy i am using is basic 256 okay and if you have any username and password to connect with your you know opc us server then you have to specify it here and if you want to trust any server or if you don't want to trust any server then you have to you know turn on and off this switch it's a default off okay we don't want to trust any server but if you want to turn on then you can turn it on from here and if you uh, want to uh, set as a constant then also you can set as a constant like uh, every time true or every time false okay also you can set username and password as a constant same with uh, security policy and message mode you can set everything as a constant or everything as a configurable or you can also use mixed things it's up to you how you want to uh, do the configuration okay after that i have used the nodes okay uh, if i go to endpoint sorry address space then you can see the node id i have used to read the data in the lab view you can see i am going to read the constant sinusoid and every other tag in the lab view same as ua expert software okay so first of all we have to provide the opc ua detail here and then we have to uh, start our lab view project to read the data so if i start the lab view project here you can see data is updating at every one second because i have set the uh, you know time delay of one second in the backend programming so let me open these two things parallelly yeah okay you can see constant has a value of 50 and counter has a value of 15 16 7 yeah you can see that here okay now if i change the value like 66 here then it is available here okay from the opc ua client you can also change the values but right now i didn't configure it okay we will see in the future videos that how to write the values in the opc ua server from you know a lab view client okay so we will see that in the future videos but right now the basic agenda of this video is how to read opc ua server tag values in the lab view so we are reading those tag values same as ua expert software okay so this is our uh, process opc ua simulation server we have used the endpoint url in the lab view we have set the message mode and the security policy we didn't provide any username and password because we don't have any username and password set for this opc ua simulation server and uh, in the address space uh, for each tag we have node id okay a namespace and the node id so we have used namespace and node id of each tag in the backend programming of the lab view to read this data okay and if i turn off the server then you will see the error here that we have some you know error to reading the data and uh, if we if everything is fine then you can see the uh, lab view project is reading the value this project is very useful when you log the data 
okay of you want to log the data of opc ua server then also you can use it if you want to transfer the opc ua data to some other protocol okay if you want to you know publish the opc ua data to mqtt then also we can do it if you want to convert morbus data to opc ua then also we can do it okay so in the future videos i'm going to cover that i'm going to convert uh morbus tcp ip data to opc ua so if uh, you don't have this kind of software then you have to buy some hardware to convert modbus data to opc ua data but with the lab view you can do it you can convert modbus tcp ip data to opc ua you can also convert modbus serial data to opc ua so that is possible we will see that in the future videos also we can log our data into the database like sqlite database mysql database or csv file we can also log our data into the microsoft sql server database but this video is for you know how to read multiple tags of process or pcu simulation server in the lab view so this is a specific video about reading the data of opc US server in the lab view so we are reading it right so there are unlimited possibilities of lab view with uh, iot protocol so this is one of them so i hope this thing is clear that how to read you know uh, opc us server data in the lab view you can compare this two things okay you expert is you know a standard software to read data okay of any opc ua uh, server and if you want to create some application okay if you want to create some exe which is used for some specific purpose if you want a custom solution then lab view is useful you can create uh, this lab view project into the exe and you can deploy it any of your production system or test system to read the data so i hope this thing is clear and if you want to buy this lab view project then the buying link is in the description of this video also you can visit our shopify store to buy this project also you can ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp if you want to buy this project or if you have some question concern or doubt about this project okay so we will meet you in the next video and in the next video maybe we can see the data logging part with the opc ua and the lab view or we can see the conversion part with opc ua and the lab view so let's meet in the next video till then take care Goodbye and thank you.